it could be a damaging blow to that key relationship. The president is promising a full report from the U.S. government by Tuesday. And new information tonight on the destruction of the California wildfires. The number of the missing skyrocketing at 1,300. The death toll, which now stands at 76, also expected to rise. Fire crews say the campfire, which is burning near Paradise, is only 55% contained, but some relief may be on the way. There is rain in the forecast for that area this week. And at the Vatican today, the Pope urging Catholics to pray for those impacted by the wildfires in California. He had a special moment for those left without homes and said that he hopes the Lord comforts the family members of those who lost their lives. He made those comments to the thousands of people that gathered to hear him speak in St. Peter's Square. And a school bus sliding on the road in New York City during that snowstorm that crippled the region Friday. Children stuck on buses for hours. A school public safety officer stepping in to help on his way from home, on his way home, arranging for them to use the bathrooms at a nearby nursing home and bringing them food. Thank you so much, Mr. Wendell. Sandwiches and juice. I saw my kids in need, and their need was greater than mine. Wow, the bus monitor calling him a prime example of humanity. Wow, it's just crazy to see those cars sliding out like that and the no, danger and, that and really was there. For sure, and New York generally handles it better. I think the, the mayor tried to throw a little blame towards the other people. So that yeah, was, yeah, wasn't that, good, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, hopefully a learning lesson. I mean, we had our first um, decent sized snow in yeah, 29 years. Got a little taste early, of that yeah, too. For 29 years since we had a snow this early in the season. Not any snow in the near term. In fact, the next rain potential will be just that, liquid. Outside right now, Dallas 41. Outside with a few scattered clouds, 47 in Arlington as you look over towards Pentagon City. And up in Germantown, just across from Seneca Valley High School, 43 degrees. So 40s out there right now. We're not going to see a big drop back in temperatures tonight because we do have a couple of things going for us. That southerly wind flow and a fair amount of clouds. A little line of moisture coming across upstate New York, western Pennsylvania and Ohio. That is a cold front. There's one there, a secondary one up in Canada. And these fronts will come across our air the next couple of days. The first will bring us some cooler air in the first half of the week and a secondary one will bring even colder air in time for Thanksgiving. Now as the first one crosses tomorrow, I just don't see a lot happening. There'll be some clouds around tomorrow. It'll be a seasonable start to the week. Temperatures in the mid 50s. But as far as moisture, very isolated to stray shower potential late tomorrow in the day. But I just don't see much happening. What we do see is this cold air coming out of Canada. And by the time we get into Wednesday, Thursday time period, I mean, we're talking temperatures 40s into 30s on Thanksgiving Day may not even see those temperatures move that much. So let's talk about what's happening for travel. A lot of folks do travel, obviously, on Thanksgiving. Uh, we usually Wednesday before, one of our busiest travel days for the Northeast, dry 30s in Boston to 40 in New York. Pittsburgh clouds, but dry from Detroit, Green Bay in the 20s, mid 30s Chicago, Cincinnati, mid 40s, low 50s in St. Louis. If you're traveling south on Wednesday before Thanksgiving, 50s from Raleigh to Atlanta, but look at that 80 and sunshine in Miami. Now, as far as the West Coast, Rapid City to Denver, 50, 60 in Dallas and Houston, cool but dry. L.A. could see some showers in San Francisco. They need some rain out on the West Coast. Maybe a few showers in Seattle, but no big storm systems to impact the big travel day Wednesday leading up to Thanksgiving. So we can give thanks for that. Tomorrow for the kiddos at the bus stop, some scattered clouds in the morning and cool. Upper 30s to near 40. We're shooting for mid 50s or so by afternoon by the time they head home. I think more clouds by the latter half of the day with the potential of an isolated shower later tomorrow evening. Not too widespread. Tuesday, 50 degrees into the 48 by Wednesday. We talked about how those temperatures cooling off a little cooler Tuesday, Wednesday. That big Arctic shot of air comes in by Thanksgiving Day. We may not get out of the mid 30s despite sunshine. Brr, chilly for Thursday, Friday cool as well. Next big rainmaker next weekend, Saturday could be a soaker across the DMV. All right, we had a, a white week before Thanksgiving, yeah. and now a chilly one, chilly day of coming. Yes, all right, we'll make sure to layer up there. You know, it was a tough day at FedEx Field. The Redskins lost the game, but they lost much more. Our Robert Burden is live at Landover with details. Rob, what was it like in the locker room after that game and that loss? Well, I'll keep it simple, Carl, and tell you like this. You don't want to know, okay? Not only did it happen 33 years ago to the day of Joe Theismann, I'll tell you why this injury is even more bizarre. That's coming up next in sports. The holidays are just around the corner. And that means Hyundai holidays are here. With savings so big, finding the right gift is easy. How to wrap it? That's another story. 
Hyundai Holidays. The longer you look, the more there is to like. Get an Elantra with 0% APR for 72 months, plus $1,000 bonus cash. Now through Black Friday during Hyundai Holidays. Hurry in today. You guys ready? This is the Nelson family. Wi-Fi's good. And their panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. Connected here. They're helping us demonstrate the speed and coverage of its super-fast signal. Here it comes! It covers every device and every inch of their home. He's coming back up! And with extenders, every room is connected. Cover every corner of your home with super-fast panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. Score the best Black Friday deals in your pajamas? From deep discount gift cards to price drop alerts, 7 on Your Side reveals how to shop smarter and buy better online. Black Friday online shopping tricks, Tuesday at 6.30 on ABC7's Good Morning Washington.